Hi there, this is Neil McArdle, and this is a short message going to the Minister of the Embassy of uh, Ethiopia and indeed the Ambassador. Uh, today we are recording and documenting uh, people from Dundalk, their opinions on Ethiopia and indeed what life is like or what they think life is like in Addis Ababa. Uh, in hope of changing their perception and their stereotypes, we would like to make a, a short documentary in Ethiopia and then bring it back to them and show them what life is really like and it's not the stereotypes that they believe. Action. Poverty. Yeah. Uh, corruption. Yeah. And uh, refugees. Refugees. Starvation. Yeah. Ethiopia. I don't. No. Okay. You can be honest. Poverty, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, no, I suppose charity. Yeah. Uh, Say no. no. Poor people. Yeah. Uh, starving children. Uh -huh. um, poverty, uh, guns, poor, diseases and low paid workers. Um, starving children uh -huh. and uh, hot weather. War, maybe, yeah. Uh, would you ever Sadness. think of going on holiday? I don't know anything, but I remember a humble country with people in a precarious situation. Tristeza. É o mesmo sistema, mesmo. Eu acho que as palavras delas diz tudo. Food. Hungry. Homeless. Etiópia. Children. Uh, politics. And healthy. Poor, poverty, and a lot of natural disasters, I guess, maybe. Ethiopia. Yeah. Um, poverty, famine, greed. Poverty, famine, and drought. Yeah. Uh, hunger. Uh, no money. And uh, hungry people. Uh, really starving children and uh, no food. Well, well, for me as a travel agent, I'll say airline. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, the covenant of the Ark. Yeah. Long distance running. Addis Ababa. Yeah, it's quite ancient. Utopia? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard about them. In Discovery Channel, I think I've seen. Coffee. Yeah, I. I would consider on on a humanitarian grounds. Yeah, I would. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. Why was that? Any reason? Because I suppose I I'd feel uncomfortable being around such poverty. No, no. Why is that? Because of the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> I'm not sure Africa is just safe to travel to. Uh, no. Mm, but no, to be honest, it would never. Because that image of when I was his age was probably always stays in your head. So it does. And I'm sure it's a lovely country. No way. Uh, Africa sometimes again, maybe towards the honeymoon um, focus, or but Ethiopia, no. no. I would love to go there. Just yeah, to see. It's yeah. Quite exotic. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of. It sounds exotic. It really does. I don't really know much about it. Yeah. Same. Same. Well, yeah, probably myself I would. I like going to weird places. I was actually there like not that long ago. Really? Yeah, yeah, but it was only a kind of stopover um, on the way to somewhere else. But um, they have a mad airport. So if we were to experience it uh, on um, when we're down there, or, or press, in fact, you know, uh, newspaper columns, stuff like that, will get people interested in it, mm -hmm. uh, and then it can become a, its own tourist destination in its own right. Um, it looks like the people are friendly and it's very accommodating. Um, I suppose it's it being Africa, people have a wee bit of a oh, is there a bit of trouble in the country or mm -hmm. something? You know, you just ha hear these things and snippets now and again. Mm -hmm. um, 
but um, as, as far as the airline, it's it's the only African airline to be allowed to fly into America. So that oh, okay. says something.